Rugby players, here's a training day non-contact warm-up that you can do to get yourself ready for a training session. Get yourself warm by doing a lap of the pitch and then we're into a 10 to 15 meter grid of dynamic warm-up exercises, starting with karaoke, getting those hips over and across. And then we're pairing that with a side shuffle. Make sure you don't click your heels together and we're doing this to warm up our hips and our groins, which is very important for rugby players. Hamstring injuries are common, so we want to make sure these are nice and warm. So we're doing monster kicks of that 10 to 15 meter grid. Increase the range of the kicks as you feel comfortable. We're then chewing some chickens to get some lumbar spine flexion, which is really important for those forwards. They're going to do a lot of contact. Try to loosen off that posterior chain. Get yourself nice and warm. We are going to get into scrum positions, ruck positions. We need to get our hips open. So doing closing and opening the gate is a great way to make sure that we have full hip range of motion. Drive that knee up as high as you can. Really explore your hip range of motion. Try not to be lazy here. Try to get at least four to five reps on each leg before you finish the grid. Grabbing a friend or a post and doing our leg swings, forwards and sides, it's a great all-rounder for getting the entire lower limb nice and warm. About 10 swings per leg per direction is enough to get yourself moving well. So again, start with smaller swings and then build up that range as you feel comfortable. Now one of the areas it doesn't quite hit is the calves. So now we're going to get onto all fours and do some calf pumps. A set of 20 or so is a nice way to get these warm. We're on the floor, we're moving on to some thoracic rotations with doing a thread the needle exercise that it's also known as, making sure we reach as far as we can underneath and then rotating as far as we can to the sky. Lumbar spine, we're then rocking either side 6 to 10 reps of all of these exercises, making sure that we're exploring our lumbar spine range as much as we can. This is especially important for people that are going to be in loads of contacts and in lots of scrums. This is a fantastic exercise to explore with our next one, which is a lumbar rollout, also just known as a rollout, where we get our lumbar spine, our hamstrings, and our groins moving well about five to six of these, but if any of these exercises you wanna spend more time on, make sure you do, don't skip over it just because I told you to do six. More specific muscular activation here, we've got a double leg glute bridge. I generally get people to do between eight and 12 of these because we are gonna move on to a single leg as well. Make sure we tuck our hips underneath, squeeze our glutes as much as we can. We're then on to obviously that single leg where we're driving through one leg. Try to not let the hips drop, keep your body nice and even. Not too fast, don't use your lumbar spine, keep using your glutes. Moving a bit faster now with the hamstrings, we've got a hammy flick, trying to flick up as quickly as we can. Do about six to eight of these and then into a straight leg raise for about eight reps. Make sure you do both sides. We're then into a hammy rock. This is great for our hip flexors and our hamstrings. As we move forward, we squeeze through our quad and our hip flexor. As we rock back, we squeeze through our hamstring. After six to eight of these, we then go leg out to the side and work on our groins, exploring that deeper range of motion through our groin, making sure they're getting nice and warm. Then we're on to our last part of the dynamic warm-up which is our double leg jump to a double leg land this is really important don't let your lower leg shift violently forward make sure that we control the motion get loud don't be landing softly land aggressively but control it so when we do our double leg to single leg land really make sure we own that bottom position don't over lean don't let that knee buckle in we're doing this to help prevent lower limb injuries like knee and ankle to work on some ankle stiffness and get the calves warm, we're doing some compass hops between 8 to 12 hops in each direction per leg. Get yourself nice and warm. Really great for getting the calves warm, getting our ankle warm and preventing things like ankle sprains. Really simple. Forwards, back, side, side can be done together. I like adding in some more explosive jumping, but this may not be for everyone, but some pogo jumping forward, trying to get to the end of the grid as quickly as we can, but trying to keep our knees and hips locked every time we jump. Then single leg bounding, moving over the line, trying to control our hips, knees and ankles together. Don't let that knee buckle inwards. Try to control the leg and explode up through our glutes, hips and calves. Lastly, we're onto our axial and decel work. Over that 10 meter grid, pushing off hard and then decelerating hard. About three to four reps of these and then we can sink a few together to get warm again and to make sure that we get that body temperature up. Some people might want to do another two 10 meter axles where they just focus on speed but this will conclude your warm up and get yourself ready for rugby.